Hello and welcome everyone. Today I'm going to be sharing with you my experience with the Dell XPS 13. This is the late 2015 model, the 9350, and also the new Razer Blade Stealth. And I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts, my experience on these two. First impressions, both laptops overall have a very nice and elegant design. From the keyboard, to the trackpad, to the body. Both laptops are built very well and are very durable. Both laptops have many similar features, but there are some features that set it very apart. Both the Dell and the Razer base model starts off at $999. The Dell you could find a little cheaper at some stores, but the Razer is the newer of the two and the base price for that currently is $999 as of today. For the specs comparison, both are the base model. With the Razer, you're going to get the Intel Core i7-6500U. This is the latest 6th gen i7 processor by Intel and it's clocked at 2.5 GHz. And you are also going to get 8 GB memory which is soldered to the motherboard and is not upgradable. For the SSD, it is a 128 GB. And on the other hand, for the Dell XPS base model, you are going to get the Intel Core i5. 6200U. This is clocked at 2.3 gigahertz and it also comes with 8 gigabyte memory which is also non-upgradable. SSD is also a 128 gigabyte. Both laptops also share the same built-in graphics card by Intel, the HD520, which is not a very stellar graphics card for gaming, but otherwise for any productivity it is still very up there. A big difference between the two laptops that arises is with the display. The Razer Stealth has a resolution of 2560 by 1440 which is also available in a 4K resolution but as for the base model it is 2560 by 1440 and it is an EXO display and it is also touch screen. On the other hand with the Dell XPS you're getting a 1920 by 1080 p display which is non-touch matte screen. For the connectivity on the left hand side, to charge the Razer Stealth, you're going to be using a USB-C charger and Dell uses their Dell proprietary charger. The Razer also has one USB port and a headphone jack on the left side. And on the Dell, you have a mini display port slash Thunderbolt port, a USB 3.0 port, a headphone jack and also a small battery indicator. In the front, the Razer Blade Stealth is more like a MacBook if you want to say. It has a much bigger opening to open up the laptop screen near the trackpad. More of a refined metal unibody design. And on the right side, you have an HDMI port and another USB port on the Razer Blade Stealth. And for the Dell, you have a security lock, a USB 3, and also an SD card reader. Notice if you are more of a photographer, a DSLR camera user, you are going to be missing out on an SD card reader on the Razer Blade Stealth. Both laptops are very thin and very elegant to the eye. The Dell laptop because of its almost no bezel display comes out to an almost 11, 11 and a half inch laptop body size and because of that even though it has a bigger 13.3 inch screen versus the 12.5 inch on the Razer Blade Stealth you are getting a much overall smaller body on the Dell XPS. At the end both laptops are very stellar and top notch. It all comes down to what you are going to be using it for. If you are going to be more on the gaming side, then I would recommend the Razer Blade Stealth because of the higher end CPU and also the option that you have to plug in the Razer Core. You also have a touch screen. If you want a laptop that is smaller but has a bigger display and you do not like the glossy touch screen, then the Dell on the other hand is a better option. You also have a couple more connectivity options with the Dell. So I hope you enjoyed my experience and my thoughts on the Dell XPS 13, the late 2015 9350 model and the razor blade stealth and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and to see more videos on these two laptops please don't forget to subscribe thank you